Hi everyone, day five of the home renovations prep, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to take you for a walk around the house and show you what it looks like as of today. First, we're gonna do a little Walmart haul because it's like four o'clock, I haven't eaten all day, my stomach is in nuts, my nerves are shot, and I need to eat. So, as you walk in, I have taken everything off the walls that I felt like needed to come off of the walls. My shelves shouldn't get knocked off of the walls. I do need to remove that mirror, which I'm going to have Chella help me do that. I need to get that off of the wall. My niece and her husband came by and helped me pack up the stuff from this room. Um, got everything off of the shelves. Everything is empty. And we stored it either up here on the counters for now some of this needs to just be put away. When they come to do the floorings, all of my plants will just go up here. Um, the living room, we emptied out everything, even inside, and we put felt pads on the bottom so that these pieces will easily move. Um, the same with this piece. Put all my chairs up and I wiped them down with that no mark stuff on it. Uh, didn't put anything on the bottoms of my table. I feel like it moves pretty well so it doesn't really need it. We'll see. We packed everything up in boxes. Most of the stuff I put in boxes and tape the boxes because there's going to be so much dust. I do need to rework this box because I'm trying to have to remove as little of dust from my stuff. I'm going to have to dust walls, floors, windows, windows, all that. I don't, I don't want to have to, you know, everything obviously is going to get wiped down again before it goes on there, but I don't want to do extra if that makes any sense. So, yeah, that's what this room is looking like now. They did, they worked for about two and a half hours with me and they just did a fantastic job because I, my anxiety level was just way too high. Mister figured out how to get out of his diaper. So we gotta put that back on him. Um, the electronics and everything have to be unhooked. All that can be done last minute. Uh, everything is off the walls except for shelving. Blankets and pillows can be thrown, you know, wherever. Um... So all of this has been emptied and is ready to be moved around as needed. I have some things here that I want to figure out some place to put them. Definitely don't want these pillows to get dust on them. I love, absolutely love these pillows. I just could not be happier with them. Um, and they're going to be so beautiful with my flooring. Anyway, so, yeah, we have that. Um, this carpet I'm going to take up, throw away, and underneath of it I have, I have it taped down, I think. But I have my cords from my subwoofer to my stand-up. Yeah, so all that has to be taken up. I did all of my laundry today while they packed. I said, y'all just pack and let me do what I have to do that's normal because I'm just a little bit too frazzled. 
So I think I have a load in here. No, I don't. I have to transfer. Let's do that real quick. My very last load of laundry of the day. I did four loads today. And I did wash my uh, living room curtains. Which I'm so excited about because they were so dusty. I need to take those down more often and wash them. But, you know. Um, I also want to show you the kitchen. We took a lot of things and put them on top of the shelves in the kitchen no idea if you can see me maybe you can but you can hear me um took a lot of things and put them into like little bins and crates and things and put it on top of my kitchen cabinets whatever would fit up there we got up there um It's going to take me a while to get all unpacked and get everything set up again. But I'm not going to rush to get that done. That's just going to be leisurely, you know. Uh, usually when I move, I can unpack within 24 hours and get everything set up because I'm so OCD. I just have to get it done. But I'm trying to tell myself, take your time, make sure you clean very well. I might get my great niece over here. She's a professional cleaner. Get her to help me. Pay her a little bit of money to help. And, um, then. Don't even know. Um, I'll show you what we got done today, but it was a huge amount, and they were such a help. All right, that's empty. That's running. Good to go. Um, now, when they come through, I'm obviously going to have to uh, move. What, is, what are you talking about tracking canceled? I don't want to understand what that was about. Um, I'm going to have to move that and that, you know, get the things off the wall. That's a quick five-minute thing. Throw it up on the thing shelf. This door doesn't stay shut because the ball bearing came out. I can't get the ball bearing to stay. I'm going to measure these two, see what the width is, and get a bifolding farmhouse door. It's going to be precious, like a barn door. Um, yeah, let me show you really quick what I did with my stuff. So, we took it all and put it up there. And I've still got some room if I want to throw some other stuff up there. Right now, I have a Walmart haul that I will share with you. I just went to the store because I haven't eaten all day and I need something to eat. I got milk, got soda because I'm stressed. I got some, some white cheddar popcorn because I'm stressed. And I got a dog crate mat to put underneath the crate so that once I get my new floors, they won't get stained, scratched, whatever. I got some Greek yogurt because after this weekend, I need to get back on to eating healthier and... I'm probably going to be on protein shakes for a little while just to flush everything out because I got two deep dish cheese pizzas. Okay, so all of that was a total of $43.71. They had, oh, I, 
I've got boxes. I got five medium sized boxes at two dollars a piece, five small boxes at a dollar a piece. Cheddar popcorn was a dollar ninety eight. Crepe mat was fourteen eighty eight. Pizza two fifty. The um, yogurt was three fifty four. The milk was a dollar sixty two, and the Pepsi was two dollars and twenty eight cent. Now, like you know, that's highway robbery, price gouging, or is it gauging? All right, more to come. I do not like all these things that are going on, Mommy. It makes me very nervous. I get very nervous. No, he's just not liking it. Here are my boxes that I got. Five of the small, five of the medium. Let's go upstairs. I've got to put those in the attic. Because when I come back to decorate, it'll be Halloween time, if I can even get, get to that point. All right, so um, we came up here and they worked on two spaces for me. After they did the downstairs, we moved everything up. I pulled up the carpet. Why not? Um, and the guys that do the woodwork can figure out how to get those shelves out. We didn't want to force anything. Uh, and then we just shoved it all up there. And we're going to not look at it. All right, then they started in my craft room, and they boxed up six boxes, and that was pretty much everything off of those shelves there. That was all of my machinery that is usually goes over here. So my niece told me just to start in one corner and start boxing. They didn't do anything that was on my... There's more stuff on here now, but they didn't box up my desk or anything over here because they know that I film and do all of that. So that was good. But she said when I get into this room to just start like right here and pack it in a box and just move over and pack it in a box and keep doing that so that all the like items or the, all the items that go in that room are all together. And that... That's just what I needed. I just needed that system because my brain was so anxious. I couldn't, I couldn't get my life together to save my life. The bad thing is all of my closets, they're just, you know, they're full. This is Christmas presents. This is um, toolboxes. Just stuff, right? And I've already shoved a bunch of stuff up there. That's another door we close. So yeah, I need to do that room one night. I need to make sure that these are not fastened to the wall so we can easily move them. And I want to take everything and put it in one corner. Then when they come in to do the flooring, they just move it from one side to the next. I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. I did not empty this one because it's got my very heavy stuff in it. She put my Cricut in there. Well, that's not going to work. Okay, so I'm going to have to move everything up to there and empty this out with whatever I can. I'll probably throw out all my school stuff because I kept every paper from that. We don't need that. <laughs> anyway, um, Clean the kitty litter. Put that back where it belongs. This has been painted. My room needs to be done. It looks a bit better now that I've gotten all of the um, clothing out of here. Haven't made my bed. This is what my life feels like right now. I have some more boxes. So in here, I'm just going to start like right here and start boxing all of this stuff and come over here and box up all of this stuff and come over here and take anything off the top and box it up and I might take all of my clothing out of here that's summertime put it in a box put it in the attic because I have been just shoving it between closets and stuff I might be over that and then just you know 
you know how wiggle boxes? We're going to take the arm and go... Not really, but I mean... That needs to be cleared. This needs to be cleaned. I usually clean it, you know, every couple of weeks. That's disgusting. <sighs> you know, just get the tops of things. Um, and then my closet. Ugh, my closet. So I have a couple of these systems in here that I created. It's just a bookshelf from Target, and I put a rod in it, hang my clothes on it. Stack shoes, purses, whatever in here. This is a bookshelf. Just do the same thing. It's all a wreck right now. Um, and then I've got, you know, all of my Christmas stuff. I've got a Christmas tree in here. All this stuff. I've got to get it to the attic. I've got my huge thing here. Ladder here. I've got a dresser in here I've got to move out. So these are, again, attached to the wall. So I've got to get them unattached so that they can move them out. And so <sighs> I've put a lot of stuff up there. That's just my seasonal decor that I put in my bedroom. We might get rid of all that. We just, I can't. I can't have all this nonsense. It's a wreck. So in this bathroom, this is just an extra bathroom. You know, I can take all of this stuff down last minute but this is where we put a bunch of my craft room bins put them in the dang bathtub it's fine everything is fine works for me so that's basically what's happening here for day five is that what day we're on i don't even know um, I am getting ready to go downstairs, make one of my pizzas, drink, eat that, drink my soda, have some candy, pack a couple of boxes, and I'm calling it a day. And then each day when I come home from work, pack a couple of boxes and call it a day. Just take it day by day. <music>